Hey guys, it's Serena and it's been two years since I've made my last video. That's so cool y'all. Two years. <laughs> I feel like everyone's life has changed. We had a fucking pandemic and actually I moved to a different country. I am no longer in the U.S. and I'm sure all of you have had a ton happen to you guys as well. Good and bad. Am I right? Um, I've decided to make this video today. First, I want to say power to the people who do YouTube on the regular because it's so much work. Like right now I'm looking at this and my lighting is garbage. You guys can see glares through my glasses. It's yellow and it, it's not good. It's not a good time. So power to all you YouTubers that have been doing it for so long and have like bought the proper equipment and stuff because I'm not one of those people. Obviously, if I haven't done it in two years. I can't even get used to like looking at the lens anymore because it's been so long. Like I want to look like in the, like where you see yourself, do you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm on here. I've had a few people message me actually, quite a few, and it's been a while. They, they've been messaging me like continuously to make new videos. Um, some of you guys actually liked my videos or at least liked seeing what I got, I should say, right? Um, so I figured, okay, Serena, let's do it. So I'm going to show y'all what I got for Hard Pack. I rejoined recently. Um, so hold on, backstory. I, I moved to Canada in case some of you people didn't know. Um, my partner's here and he likes Canada. It was easier for me to immigrate here than to for him to come to the U.S. So I am in Canada. I had a few bumps in the road at first. It was really hard because for one, we had a pandemic. And two, winter here is like forever. The North is no joke. The winter is really harsh. And coming from the South, I'm not used to the winter. So I went through this like really, kind of like a sad stage. It was pretty horrible. Um, but it's summer now, so that's nice. Anyway, okay, so I got some horror pack. I recently re-enrolled. I didn't do the DVDs this time. I usually do DVDs and I did Blu-rays for like a few years. I feel like right when they started, I was part of their little beginning phase and I always bought and I loved them. I actually really liked them. A lot of people didn't like the movies, but I actually really enjoyed them. Um, so I re I rejoined for the Blu-ray. Um, this is June's. July's already shipped, but I figured I would show y'all June's. And then I would show you guys, I bought a ton of Criterion films from Barnes and Noble when they had the half off sale. Um, I think it's over now, but it was, I don't know, a month ago, maybe, maybe less. And I bought, I spent a lot when I went to visit the US because we don't have Barnes and Noble in Canada. So for Hard Pack June, I got Queens of Scream. This was kind of cool because two of these movies I didn't have on Blu-ray and it's kind of nice to upgrade, right? Um, this includes, I know what you did last summer, When a Stranger Calls, that's the um, remake one with Camilla Bell, and Vacancy. These are all fun movies. Um, I know what you did last summer, I already have on Blu-ray. I actually have a really cool set. And then the other ones I just had on DVD. So this is a nice, this is a nice surprise. I like it. Is that my cat digging at the door? Bella! I have two cats now and they're, they're something else. Um, I got Dead by Midnight. Never seen this or heard of it. It's a hardback limited edition Blu-ray. Looks like this. Creepy cover. Super creepy. And it's signed. That was probably their exclusive. Director signature. Very cool. If any of you have seen that, let me know. Oh God, the glares in this video are so bad. So sorry, y'all. Um, next, I got The Sadness. Somebody told me The Sadness was actually really good. I think it's on Shutter or something. Haven't watched it yet, though. But that was cool. And then I got Bad Samaritan. I saw this movie in theater when it came out. It's really messed up. Like, creepy, strange, strange. It's like about this woman. Or it's about these, like... This guy goes to drop off his car in valet and these like car, these like, there's like thieves that take the car for valet. And anyway, they like go to rob the rich people's homes. 
but however they do it this one time and they realize the guy has like a woman in the house like chained up it's pretty fucked up all right so that was my horror fact blu-ray what do y'all think good yay nay and next i got my criterion i haven't even like opened these i only opened one of them um so i got a bunch they were half off and everyone knows criterion is ridiculous it's very expensive um i got this one i've never seen but it sounded fun girls night out it sounded fun it's like a slasher so yes the initiation of sarah i actually really dig this movie i have it on like vhs and actually i think that's it <laughs> now that i think about it so it's kind of cool to upgrade and see actual good quality um death screams i've actually never seen this either but it called to me i got sleep wait is this the movie i haven't seen this either i researched it this was an air is it air yeah this is an arrow one this is pretty cool it's a creepy cover i should open this because i want to know I might have to do it later. I'm curious on the, it has a slip cover, you know? So I wonder what the case looks like. Fingers crossed it's different, y'all. It should be, right? It's an arrow do that. Okay. It's the same, but maybe inside it's different. Yeah, 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 okay, good. I was about to say, I swear, I swear Arrow did this. Oh, cool, perfect. I'm gonna switch that shit right now. Because I like it when the slips are different than the outer covers. Oh my god, I love it so much. Yes. There you go. Alternate cover. Ooh, this one's cool. It has like a poster. This movie sounded really witchy. That's why it interested me. Oh shit, I'm about to rip everything. They gave us a double-sided poster. It's kind of annoying. It's like, what if you like both sides? You can't display them. And a little booklet. Okay. I might watch this tonight, actually. This has caught my interest. Okay. That's Sleep. The Bad Seed. This is a fun one. They actually recently remade this movie, I think, like, I don't know, a year, maybe two years ago, on Lifetime. And, um, the remake's fun and all, but the original is creepy. That's, like, the ultimate evil child. Um, Video Drone. This one's another really cool... Yeah. Isn't that cool? Sick. Comes with a nice booklet. I love it so much. Oops, as I'm beating up all my stuff. I got scanners. I got, <laughs> this is the one I've already opened. Wild Things. I have so many copies of Wild Things, y'all. It's a joke. I'm obs I don't know why I'm obsessed with these movies. There, I have all four of them, first of all. I have like, <laughs> I have a VHS and I have like, five or six different dvds of it and not just like one two three and four i mean like different cover covers like denise richards kevin Bacon, like all covers had different stuff and i don't know why but i just love it i love that movie so much there's this i'm always scared that one day they're gonna like remake it and it's gonna traumatize me because it's not gonna be nearly as good y'all there's no way this one has like a really cool book oh Y'all know what I'm talking about when you open like books or movies and it has that fresh new smell. This is what it's like. Oh, it's wonderful. So when you, that's the inside, that's the OG cover. The sexy, Nev Campbell and Denise Richards. Um, that's the cover everyone's familiar with. And then, yep. Mm. there's like these cool little like postcards in this oh my lord dropping everything there's like postcards oh, whoops postcards 
They're kind of cool. Ooh. They don't really do much, but personally, I think they could have picked a little bit better of stills. But these are still fun. Like this, that's a good one. Cool. Yeah. And then the poster is once again, it's the cover art. And then the other side is the original art. It's this. Um, I don't even know how I got all this in. It's got a nice big box. But yeah, I was so excited to get this. Oh my God. I just grabbed it immediately. No, I'm not gonna be able to get back in. That's nice. What else did I get? Eraser head. I haven't even opened this yet. This isn't a movie that you're like, you gravitate to often, in my opinion. It's a pretty intense film. You have to like, I don't know. It took me years to analyze this film, as weird as that sounds. Um, and every time I watch it, I feel like I interpret it a little bit more. Like what he's trying to really explain. I don't know if other people feel that way or if I'm just being like, OCD and insane but I do feel like there's much deeper meanings in this film and that's pretty badass I actually kind of want to open this since we're talking about this oh god <laughs> I'm scared this movie, it really does like freak me out Ooh, that's really Ooh, I think these are interviews actually that's really cool very nice this was another one that I actually really wanted. Not that I'm going to like watch it often, but I think it's a good one to have for movie collectors. And I'm pretty sure I just had this on DVD. So this was a more than welcomed upgrade. My oh, Lord. Can we get that in there, right? Um, I got Eyes Without a Face. This is a messed up film. If you have not seen it, I suggest it. <laughs> Um, and I got the original Funny Games. Some people hate this movie, and I understand. And some people hate the remake, but love the original. But I like them both. <laughs> so I thought that was cool. I got Phantom of the Mall. I'm pretty sure there's a slipcover to this Arrow one, and they didn't have it. So I kind of missed out, but that's fun, regardless. And then I think that's all my criterion. It is. So that, actually, that's a lot. I shouldn't say that's it because these are expensive. So these are all, most of these are like 40 bucks original price. And I got them for 20. That's still, still a lot of money for me at least. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try not to make one in two years. I'll try to make one sooner. I, I've bought a lot of cool stuff since I've been in Canada. Um, Canada has a lot of different releases. Um, some movies I've never even seen because they it's Canadian film. It's a totally different country, so they have different Canadian films. Um, they have some really cool horror films here. And um, just it's just different, right? But yeah, I'm liking it. Mostly good, some bad. It's different. Still adjusting. I've, I'm coming up on two years here, so... It's exciting though it's been an exciting journey in my life and i hope everyone's doing well my next video will probably be i've done a lot of thrifting so maybe i'll do like a thrift video if y'all want to see it like movies because that's really the only thing i collect i know i have like figures and stuff back here but these they've been here for years like it's not john too my own boyfriend he we both don't even do a lot of figures anymore or things like that. Because honestly, you just kind of collect dozen. You have to have a lot of space. Um, not saying that movies aren't the same, but for me personally, I'd rather collect movies than other stuff. Some people can do it all and power to y'all. But for me personally, I, I've been trying to just gear more towards this movies. But yeah. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye.